Hello and welcome to today's video on ionic bonding. Uh, we touched on this at GCSE and it's pretty simple. It's pretty much the same here at higher level, but let's just go through it anyway. So, ions are formed when electrons are transferred from one atom to another. Uh, and the simplest ions are single atoms which have either lost or gained one, two or three electrons. So they have a full outer shell. Um, an example of some ions. So let's just do a little example here. Um, sodium loses one electron to form a sodium ion, which is Na+, and that equation would be wrote like this. So uh, this is an ionic equation, Na, and just draw a little arrow, and then you get Na+. Plus plus E minus. And that would be the ionic equation for sodium and the sodium ion. Okay, so let's move on now to this. Um, the electrostatic attraction holds positive and negative ions together, and this is called ionic bonding. So basically, the pluses and minuses or the positive and negative charges um, attract to one another and it's that um, that is called electrostatic uh, attraction uh, and yeah it, it holds it together uh, yeah that's basically all there is to say about that um, and you can say it's very strong uh, a lot of um, mark schemes stress the word very so there you go, ionic bonding is very strong and especially when there's lots of bonding um, it's very strong. So let's move on to this little thing here. Uh, this is just a simple dot cross diagram that you will have done at GCSE um, and it's just to show how uh, the electrons are transferred in um, compounds in ionic compounds. So this example is magnesium oxide um, because it's magnesium reacting with oxygen and these two electrons on magnesium here will be transferred to this oxygen here and that means that it will be given here uh, two, as 2 plus and 2 minus and that's how you do the little um, uh, dot cross uh, diagram for uh, magnesium oxide. Uh, so this is a magnesium ion and this is an oxygen ion. This is magnesium and this is oxygen. And together that makes magnesium oxide. Not much else you can say about that. Uh, so fabulous, let's just move on straight away. So, um, the one thing that is given uh, in the revision guide as an example is sodium chloride and it has a giant ionic lattice structure. So there are several points about this that we need to learn. In sodium chloride the Na ion and the Cl ion, also the Na and the Cl ions are packed together in a regular structure called a lattice. Uh, remember the word lattice? Good. Uh, it's called giant because it's made up of the same basic unit repeated over and over again. So there's lots and lots and lots of these um, Na and Cl ions that are repeated again and again and again. So it's called giant. Uh, the sodium chloride lattice is cube shaped. Not every lattice is cube shaped, um, but they do still count as giant lattices. But sodium chloride is um, cube shaped. And it has a high melting point because of its very strong ionic bonds. Plus there is a lot and lot of um, ionic bonds. I'm just going to kind of try and draw for you. So imagine this is uh, Cl and this is Na. And they are just joined together like that um, via electrostatic attraction and ionic bonding. And that is repeated over and over and over and over and over again until you get uh, a cube. And
and that is called a giant uh, ionic lattice. Okay, the next things to point out is that ionic structure explains the behaviour of ionic compounds. So the first point is that ionic compounds conduct electricity when they're molten or dissolved. The ions in a liquid are free to move and they carry a charge. Uh, it's also important to not out uh, point out that in a solid they're fixed into a position by strong strong ionic bonds so they do not act the same they do not conduct electricity when they are solid but when they are um, molten or dissolved um, they are liquid so they uh, can move around and uh, the electrons are free to move around and so they conduct electricity uh, the second point is that ionic compounds can be electrolyzed uh, which means split up by electricity um, and the ions move to the electrode with the opposite charge to the ions so the uh, positive ions will move to the negative electrode and vice versa and the third point to point out is that ionic compounds are crystalline crystalline just means that the atoms or ions are arranged regularly in structures with sharp edges and that's basically all you need to know about ionic bonding for now. I'll see you again soon.